parking lot where the old precinct building was, the old fire station was. Uh, the removal, and I got a, an email today from the chief, the removal was actually physically accomplished this morning. Mm -hmm. The tank is gone. Um, the cost of removal and compliance is estimated at $5,000 over the budget for the fire station project. We won't know for a couple of weeks. They did do this, the sampling required by federal law uh, that was conducted. We won't know for a couple of weeks what the results are. The worst possible scenario would be that we would have to spend up to $5,000 to put in a test well in order to monitor that area. Uh, the chief did tell me that there did not appear to be any gross contamination of the soil at the time of removal. So we don't know if the tank was ever used or not. It had soil in it, I think. Uh, this is no. We removed all the ones we knew were there. Yeah. This is one that was I, I, unknown to anybody. No, but I understood that there that this did contain. It was there was nothing in it apparently. It was Small amount of bomb, very little, very little. Yeah. Very little, yeah. Very little, yeah. yeah. Um, whether it had been cleaned before or not, we don't know. Because I knew there were others taken out. Yeah. 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 yeah we took a number of them out. Okay. The construction continues in the Church Street Station. Uh, certainly, if you've been by, you've noticed that uh, things are progressing quickly. Uh, the installation of electrical systems and mechanical requirements related to the pumping operations is ongoing. Hopefully, that will be done in, in short order. Uh, Wednesday, December 11th, 2013, at 5 p.m. is the last time a petitioned amendment to the zoning ordinance can be received for action by the 2014 annual town meeting. Just a note to say that those need to be filed by 5 o'clock in the selectman's office just so we know if that's what the law requires. For those departments or agencies who submit reports to the annual town report, you should be finalizing and submitting reports as soon as possible. That's very important. We're currently working to get that done. We've received a request to establish a town auction for the sale of surplus materials. May we have from the board permission to proceed to organize an auction, establish lists and advertise the auction at a future date and time to be determined. From the individual departments. If you have no objections, we'd like to we'd like to stop proceeding with that and get 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 the job done. So I have no objection. Do you need a motion on that, Fred? No, just I think just the sentiment of the board would be fine. I, I have no objection either, except that I think you know waiting for a little bit better weather. Yeah, uh, we would certainly do it on a day that was conducive to the sale. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's it, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Any uh, questions for Fred? Yeah. I have comments, whatever. Okay. Have we made any progress with Seabrook on the Sun Valley beach raking? I have called the town um, this past week, mm -hmm. and uh, I have no report to give you. They have not given me a report as of yet. I'm planning on um, dropping by for a visit. Oh. Uh, face to face. <laughs> well, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> well, I'm hoping that we can can tie that down. I, uh, that's an excellent, so uh, excellent idea. Um, I, on the, you mentioned in your report the uh, deadline for the petitioned uh, zoning ordinances. I'm still not clear in my mind, and I have a planning board meeting next week, as to whether the sub-district designation in the articles that the planning board is putting together is, is valid. I'm, and I'm not sure about sub-district versus overlay versus spot zoning versus whatever. Have we any clarification on that, Mark, at all? Uh, not as of yet, but thank you for raising it. Okay. Essentially, the um, even though the word sub-district is used, when you look at the description of the area, right. it, is just, it is as if it is a district itself. It is, it's described as an entire area. It also has its own column on Article 4. Mm -hmm. And so the word sub-district is used as a label, mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's probably more accurate just to call it something other than sub-district. Right. I'm just concerned about the designation for And the uh, Hampton Center District proposal is actually three separate areas incorporated along Route 1, and I have no idea how one describes that, but I'm totally puzzled on that, but I'd like to clarify if we can, because the public hearing for the planning board is on the 18th, Great. and uh, I'd rather not see something go in that's improperly described. Great. And just uh, for Fred, just one last small request. Yes, ma'am. When, when someone is... Um, dies or is incapacitated or has health problems or whatever, and we send 
flowers, greetings. Uh, yeah, I think it would be just if you think, and I know you've got a lot on your mind, just to tell us, you know, we sent flowers sure. on your behalf to whatever, because I talked to Fred today about one individual who, yeah. who uh, is incapacitated, yeah. and Fred was kind enough to see the flowers were sent in our behalf, but I didn't know about it. Well, I make sure that uh, you're told. <laughs> <laughs> I have another question. I'm for the town manager. Where, where are we on the school payment? I've lost track of that. School payment. Oh, it's 13, 13, 13, 000 and something. And have we decided to issue the money yet, or have we taken possession, or what is the uh, I'm going to refer that one to council because uh, I think he's working on it. Okay. Still in process. The uh, the. Uh, Finance director with whom I was going to work on that. Okay. It's been out. Okay. That answers my question. Thank you. I thought maybe I'd missed it. No, you've not uh, missed it. Oh, no. We made sure you knew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, just one item that I'll bring up. I had asked Fred in an email today and he responded. Um, actually, it came from Mike Sports, and we had had a discussion related to the um, property damage and liability insurance and the mm -hmm. fact that it was um, understood that we were paying in one fiscal year for a time frame that carried forward <coughs> in six months mm -hmm. in the following fiscal year. And Mike Spencer did confirm today that that is in fact the case and it's been going on since yeah. um, 2006 and you know God knows how far back prior to that time. So, Okay, old business, Warren articles. <laughs>